What's up guys, V here. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I turned this Lian Lee O11 dynamic from this to this in a few easy steps. Now, a little while ago, I made a video on how to remove this bracket from the inside of your case. And in that video's comments, people said I should either make custom glass or get some sort of acrylic or just various options. There were plenty of comments on there. And uh, even some people said that it was a dumb idea, et cetera, et cetera. And that's okay. So in this video, I'm going to answer all the questions that you guys might have. And I'm going to show you all of the steps that I took to get this custom glass without the bracket in the front. Overall, the project was pretty easy. And at the end of the video, I will talk about everything that went into the project, how much money it cost me, all the different options you may have with glass and all the questions will be answered at the end. And if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. Now, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get this project started. All right, so now we're gonna have to go ahead and move these brackets over to the new glass. So I got a couple different tools that I'm gonna try to use here, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna cut through the adhesive under here with the knife and it should come right off. I, this is my first time ever doing something like this, so we're gonna try it. But before I do that, what I wanna do is get a picture of where these sit so when I match them to here, I know what to base it off of. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna go get my heat gun because I feel like if I heat this up just a bit, it's gonna make it a whole lot easier. All right, so I went ahead and got my heat gun. Let's go ahead and just try to heat this up a little bit without melting anything. All right, I think that's good for now. Now let's see if it'll want to cut through maybe a little bit easier. Oh yeah, it does. But the glue is definitely sticking to the blade a lot easier. Actually, it looks like the whole thing's kind of just moving, so I'm kind of curious if I can just peel it. There we go. It's still pretty hot. I'm gonna let that cool down. Now it cooled off enough for me to be able to peel this off. It's still warm, so the glue isn't fully cured yet. I got a little extra glue to remove, but uh, once I remove all that, it'll be good to go. Check that out. It's pretty awesome. So it looks like this glue, while it's still warm, it's really soft. It peels pretty easily. But once it gets harder, it's not as easy to just peel it. So I guess heat in this circumstance is the key. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. Gotta pull pretty hard when you do this. Not like crazy hard, but enough to get it out. These side pieces are just glued on with uh, a little bit of double-sided tape. So if you do wanna transfer these, probably a little bit of heat I noticed right here where it's hot, it's coming off real easy. And then once you, it gets up to here where there's no heat, it gets a little harder. So I guess you could lightly warm it up, peel it all the way off if you wanna use it on your new glass. That's a good way to do it. As you can see here, I kind of screwed it up because there was no heat. Once I got heat, it actually comes off pretty easily. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the bigger glass. There we go. There's definitely a lot more glue on these big ones. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one off camera just to not bore you and save some time. Let's go ahead and get to the next part, shall we? All right, so now I got the big glass here and we're gonna go ahead and do the borders. We're gonna go ahead and paint them. So I want them to look as original as possible. So this is the paint that I'm going to be using. I chose flat because I don't want it to be way too flashy. So I did a practice round with the smaller panel. Taped it around, did what I had to do, and there it is, it's flat, as you can see. But as soon as I flip it over, which is the side we're gonna see all the time, now it's shiny. So that's roughly what it's gonna look like. That's the borders, and obviously the corner, I don't want a border, so I left that untouched. So that's exactly what we're gonna replicate on this one. So I'm gonna show you every step that I did to measure this out and to get the borders right. I got just some painter's tape, general use. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put my first piece of tape down. This part does not need to be perfect, and we're gonna need something to completely flatten it out. So use something like a credit card. I just so happen to have this plastic scraper that I can use. So just gonna flatten this out all the way down. Just to be clear, I did already clean this with alcohol just so the tape sticks perfectly. I have this level, which is straight. I put it like that. Then I put the glass all the way up against it, just like that. So now I got a straight edge. So what I have to do here is the way that I did this on the other panel, and I'll just pull it out and kind of show you. So I have this panel here, right? So I put it up against here, and then I have this, these two. I need the bezel to be slightly wider than this, all the way around. And then I set this down right here. And then this one I put over here, pushed it up against this and kind of held it in, in a weird way. And I'll show you, I can't show you on here just cause this is still curing. I mean, it's dry to the touch, but it, I don't want to scratch it or anything. So then on here, I would start at the top, take my other one. I put it like this and then I would hold it and I drew it out or you can take your knife and right away start cutting it and then move this whole contraption down, continue the cut. This isn't perfectly efficient, but it was the best way for me to make sure that all of them are equal and all of them look good. I'm gonna go ahead and tape this border all the way around. There's yet another one. And now we gotta do this last side. All right, so as you can see, I ended up cutting the whole border out. It is now ready to be wrapped up. I gotta wrap this whole piece up. The only thing we're painting is these edges and the sides. This front side will not be getting painted, but right here it will be. Now, before I do all that, just a couple notes. Razor blade will not scratch this. Razor blades can't scratch glass, they're not hard enough. Now, if this were plexiglass or some other softer glass, then yes, it probably could. But in this case, it can't, you have nothing to worry about. So you can cut directly on it, it's not like paint, so you're good to go. The second note, before you paint, make sure this surface is clean because obviously I touched it, stuff like that. First of all, the paint might not stick. Second of all, any fingerprints left on here will show up on the other side, which is your final side. That's your that's the side that you're showing off to everybody. So make sure, grab some rubbing alcohol, got a microfiber, and after I tape everything on, I'm gonna wipe it several times and then I'll take a dry microfiber and give it a good wipe to make sure the alcohol didn't leave any smudges or anything like that because they will show up. So prep work, probably the most important. So yeah, just wanted to add those notes in there for you, uh, hopefully to help you out. If you have a project like this, keep these things in mind. Well, there we go. Went ahead and taped it all, used some newspapers, and uh, yeah, we're, we're ready to go. So here's what it's going to look like. As you can see, the edges that I need painted are not 
at all taped up. Gonna go ahead and clean this with some alcohol. This needs to be extremely clean so the paint can stick to it properly. Just like that. And then I'm gonna give it a final wipe down just before painting. I'll see you guys outside. Oh, well, first coat's done. We will come back for a second coat and then we're all done. Gonna do one more coat and let this dry overnight. Well, there we go. I got two coats on here. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna let this dry overnight and I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, well, it's the next day here and the paint has fully cured. So now we gotta re-glue our brackets. Obviously these are upside down right now, but yeah, they're gonna go something like that. So what I did with this bracket, the one that goes on the backside over here, I went ahead and scored a little mark on it with my razor blade. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut it because this is pretty thick and the, the bezel that I made here is quite a bit thinner. So I want it to match. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this with a Dremel. And then this one that goes on this side right here, I marked it right across here and right down here. So that way it fits the bezels. We don't need this whole thing. We just need the top piece and the bottom piece since obviously mine, I cut out the support beam. So we don't need that whole thing. These two are perfectly fine. They're ready to go. The reason I left the tape on there, when I glue it down, as soon as I put pressure on it and if it bleeds through, I'm just going to go ahead and peel it. That way I'll have a nice crisp line. So let's go outside and give these a quick cut. All right, so I went ahead and cut the pieces. So now it's gonna match the bezel a lot better. Here's the pieces I cut off quite a bit. Weight reduction. All right, we're ready to go ahead and glue these on. For the glue, I'm gonna use this advanced silicone. It's 100% waterproof. Doesn't really shrink or crack, which is what I wanted. All right, so to glue these down properly, I'm gonna put a bead across the bracket and then I'm gonna line it up straight and then I'll clamp them down. Definitely too much, but it's okay. That is lined up. So let's go ahead and do the other side. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clamp these down. So I'm gonna carefully just place these Perfect. That one is all clamped down. Let's go ahead and do the other side. And now both sides are clamped. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this away and let it cure. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do this big one. This one is good, time to clamp it down. All right, I'm gonna do this bottom one and the final corner. All right, so that's all done. I'll let it cure for maybe the whole day until tomorrow, we'll see. And uh, yeah, they'll be all done. Okay, so I am back. It's been over 24 hours now, but I did let these cure for about 24 hours. I already test fit them. They do fit perfectly fine. Real quick, before I put these on though, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the first issue just cause I need the glass panel off. And it has to do with that bottom metal bracket that sits in here. So basically this bracket, I put it on pretty much backwards last time. Um, so I did have to unglue it and re-glue -re it down. 
But yeah, I thought that match had to face this side, which I should have known better, considering this one down here faces the other side as well. So that was the first issue. It The notch, for some reason, does touch the glass, which also happens there. But since we removed this whole piece from here to, to here, it looks a bit crooked, but that's kind of the first issue. No big deal for me. It does fit, everything's good, and it supports its own weight. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that real quick, just in case people will want to know. And I also haven't cleaned up the glue completely yet. I did some cleaning, but not to perfection just yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on, show you how everything fits, and there it is. So that's kind of the final product there. Just gotta clean it up a bit. Now, one of the main issues is, and it's not super noticeable here in person, but this front panel, for some reason, was cut just slightly shorter than this one. This one's perfect. This one was cut just a bit shorter. And because of that, there's like a little bit of a gap right here, which isn't too big of a deal. Like I said, it's not too noticeable. But if you're gonna do this, I highly recommend doing the measurements yourself, or if you're gonna have them do the measurements, whoever cuts the glass for you, make sure to let them know that both of them are meant to be the same height. The width of this one they can measure, the width of this one, and then just tell them to measure from the top to the bottom and use that measurement for both of them. I'll say that's on me, I should have I should have been more clear about that. Now, another thing to keep in mind about this whole project, if you are removing this bar, this support beam, the case is already pretty bendy straight from the factory. So if I have this case on like a more uneven surface, what'll happen is a gap will form right here because the whole case is kind of twisting. That used to happen even with this bar in there, but not as bad. Now without the support beam, that does happen. Very, ever so slightly. It's not, it's not like huge or really badly noticeable, but it is there. That's something I want to mention. Also keep in mind if you're removing this, your warranty does automatically get canceled. Just something to keep in mind. This project isn't necessarily just for people that want to remove this bar. I mean, don't get me wrong, looks really cool, but it was brought to my attention and I did notice that the white version of this case comes with the black bars on the glass. And this is another option for you if you wanted to get custom glass made. If you did get the custom glass made, then you could paint these bars and you could do the front bars all white. So that way you have a truly white case plus you get the clear glass. I'm not sure if the glass is tinted on the white ones, but on the black case, the glass is slightly tinted. So there you can see a comparison. Now, this glass is the only type of glass that they offered at the place that I went to, but in some places, you'll have other options. You could do ultra clear glass. You could possibly even do less reflective glass. There's many options, so talk to them about your options. Some glass may be more expensive. Some glass will be cheaper. This glass, just the glass itself, they charged me $45 after tax and everything, so they were done. The paint, I don't know, $3. And then, of course, if you don't have tools and stuff like that, like these clamps, I had to go out and buy these. But I think these ones are like $3 each, $2 each, I'm not really sure. But you can get a big set of them on Amazon or something for cheaper. You don't need the fancy ones. This is all they had locally, and I wanted to get this video out to you guys. So I just kind of went out and bought them. All in all, for this whole project, you're more than likely, even even with the clamps and everything, even I didn't spend over $100. And in my opinion, the project's not too expensive. I mean, personally, just to get this look that I've been going for for such a long time, which is the whole reason that I removed this bracket, to me, that's just it's more priceless. Um, this sits on my desk. I like to look at it a lot. It actually sits right there where that box is. And to me, it just, it completes the aesthetic of what I wanted from this PC. So I also noticed in the previous video of me actually removing this, people said it was a dumb idea, etc., etc. To that, I gotta say, it's obviously your opinion. It's obviously your choice. It's your case. Do whatever you want with it, but keep in mind the risks that you have coming with it. I've been enjoying the case without that bracket for a while. I have never actually put it back in. You could always rivet this back in if you wanted to, but I never did and it's perfectly fine. And I feel like now with the custom glass, it finally completes the look. You still get this little line here. 
I don't think there's any way to get rid of that. You could talk to the glass company about that. Maybe they can make these lines a, a bit more clear. As far as airflow goes and anything like that, nothing really changes. The only difference I would say is maybe some extra air would come in between these gaps just slightly but it doesn't cause any any noticeable difference as far as temps go airflow goes none of that still works perfectly fine as it should from the factory now for this project i used paint for the black bars you could also use something like vinyl also instead of glass you could always use acrylic sheets or something like that cut them to spec i personally would just do the glass because I, when I was looking into this project, I did find some acrylic sheets, but they were roughly the same price as me getting this glass done, so it just didn't make any sense to do that. But just putting that out there as an option. Now, another option you could do if you don't want to completely remove your support beam, you could have either a custom piece made out of acrylic or you could make it yourself. You could get creative and, and just have like a like a little square beam in there that's acrylic. I might try something like that in the future just to see how it looks. Now, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Like always, these projects are DIY. Do these at your own risk. I am not responsible for any damage done to your case. One thing that I learned, and I did show it in another video that I made, how to put these glass panels back on and I was talking about how putting this top cover back on gets a little tougher because the top part does sag just a tad bit and it doesn't let the little pins get into the groove so I learned a, a, a cool little trick that you can do you would put this panel this this side panel on first once you got that on this literally just sags probably I don't know a millimeter two millimeters so what I would do is I put this on, I hold this up and I push this on like normal, right? And then what I do is I push it back ever so slightly, just enough to give me space to be able to get these pins into the grooves in the front. Then you would put the front glass on just like that and then slide the top like you normally would. Just figured to include that in the video just in case you guys do remove this bracket. It makes putting the glass back on a little bit simpler. But yeah guys, that's the final product there. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Let me know what I should do next, if anything to this case or any other case. Anything you'd like to see me do, PC related, feel free to leave those in the comments. Like always, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you all so very much. If you like this type of content, feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And if you like it even more, feel free to subscribe. Now with all that being said, my name is V. I will see you in the next one. Peace.